Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to flash the Omega custom ROM onto your Galaxy Note 3 N9005. So this works only with the N9005 that is the Snapdragon 800 variant of the Galaxy Note 3. If you're quite unsure on what variant you have, quickly go into settings about device and uh, under model number it should show you. Uh, it should read N9005 for you to be able to follow this tutorial. So guys, with Omega, you get a ton of functionality, like say for example, you've got Omega's apps, uh, you got you get the pen window, man pen window manager, which lets you run pretty much any app with the pen window option. Expose installer brings you a lot of uh, uh, Expose framework mods that you can get. The multi-window manager lets you run pretty much any app uh, in under multi-window. So these are just a few of the uh, a few of the advantages that Omega brings to the table. So if you guys want to go ahead and flash the Omega ROM, this is what you do. The prerequisite here is that you need to be rooted and have a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod recovery installed. If you haven't done that already, my uh, the link to my video on how to get that done can be found right below the like button in the description. Head on link one from the download section in the description. That will take you to this page on XDA Developers forums download the latest version of the Omega ROM. Once you've done that, transfer it to the internal or external memories of your Note 3, turn your Note 3 off, and with your Note 3 turned off, hold up volume, power, and home at the same time. Once you see Note 3 uh, displayed, let it go. This will take you to your custom recovery. All right, so I'm running Phil's touch over here. It could look a little dip different depending on depending on what custom recovery you have. Doesn't matter. It's all going to be similar options. You just need to go down, install zip, choose it from SD card. So now select Omega. All right, this is a touch recovery, so I can just use touch controls. If you if the recovery you're using is not touch based, the volume keys will act uh, will double up for navigation. And the power button will act for selection so selecting it yes install so guys i just wait for it to complete okay it will load up the aroma installer so hit next you can choose to back up your afs if you if you have not done it already i've done it already so over here guys if you're coming from an earlier version of omega or uh, your stock rooted touchless ROM, you don't have to wipe. If it's a different uh, touchless based ROM, you can still try not wiping it. If it's a, if it's Anagen mod or any other AOSP based ROM, make sure you select full wipe. All right, before you do a full wipe, uh, if you have to do a full wipe, make sure make sure you've backed up your apps and data. I have a video on how to back up your apps and data. I will leave a link to that video tutorial right below the like button as well, so you can check that out. Make sure you've backed up your apps and data. And continue but since I'm coming from an earlier earlier version of Omega I'm just I'm not gonna wipe here just heading next you can choose what apps you need uh, disable the ones you don't so again these are the Samsung apps again you can make it make your choices I really don't like a lot of these so let me quickly uh, take a few off at least so Polaris viewer advisor all right so these are for the widgets again you can choose what you want and these are Omega add-on apps so you can choose what you want hit next and hit install so this will take about five minutes to complete I'll be back with you guys once it's done all right guys we are done so uh, make sure reboot device is checked hit end and your phone will now boot back up so this is your first boot into a rom is always a little longer than the normal boot times so it might take two to uh, two to five minutes to boot up so don't worry about it if at any point you get stuck uh in a boot loop either, either the omega logo or at the galaxy note 3 logo just go back boot back into recovery and do a full wipe a wipe data factory reset all right and then boot up and your phone will boot back up don't worry about it Anyway, I'll be back with you guys once the Note 3 is back up. All right, guys, we're up. So there you go. Since I'm coming from an earlier version of uh, Omega, all my apps and data have been retained. And quickly going into settings. Sorry, general, about device. 
there you go Omega V 5.0 and uh, that's pretty much it you've got Omega running on the Note 3 now so I guess that pretty much wraps up this video on how to flash the Omega custom ROM onto your Galaxy Note 3 N9005. If you guys run into any issues or if you have any queries, please leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. So I hope you guys found this video useful and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I will be coming out with a lot more videos pretty soon. So once again, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.